go right up to this tree, dude. Wait, oh my god, look at that. Look. Whoa, that thing's big, dude. Oh my god. That's you, man. Dude, a freaking alpha just came out of nowhere. That's a giant goanna right there, man. Let's just observe and see what they're doing. We got a rifle right here. But a pellet with his name on it. Let's just see what. Oh, he's being alpha. What do you do? He Air guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. Oh, look at the thick one. Nice work, Roddy. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. Hope everybody's doing great. I'm out here with the boy Manny and we're over here doing some iguana removals house and some of our jobs. Real quick, I wanted to show you something. This right here is a plant. It's a bougainvillea bush. And we've been removing a lot of small iguanas from it and you can see it's starting to grow back. Very nice. It was completely barren. It looked like a bunch of twigs. You can see that leaves are starting to sprout. Beautiful thick leaves, dark green. I don't know if iguanas think this is spinach or something. This is a very popular plant out here because it makes a gorgeous flower when it blooms. But it's also one of the iguanas' favorite foods to eat. You can see right here we've had some activity. Look at these little herbivorous lizards. Let's go in the backyard and see what's going on out there, all right? All right, let's do this. There's no poop by the pool. And that's going to answer a question that a lot of people ask. How effective is the iguana removal? And you know, can you actually control them? The answer to that is gonna be yes. Because in areas where we do removal, as you guys can see, there's a big difference in the iguana activity. Fewer, fewer iguanas, no more mess. All those obvious problematic iguanas, we got them in the bag. You saw that, right? What'd you say? I think it went that way. I think I see one up there, Manny. Oh. Oh, nice. Not very big. But yeah, that's an iguana right there. Early morning. Got some ducks out. These are those Muscovy ducks. side of the roof. I think they're living right in the hole right there. Um, yeah, we need to put some traps right there on the roof. That would be easy, huh? All right. Look at these holes. Just, just noticed that myself, man. What do you think it could be, Manny? Honestly, some type of green rodent, I think. Could be an iguana, could be a rat. Could be something, right? Oh yeah, it's deep. We know iguanas dig holes. They already have a hole right here on this roof. Look, I don't know if, if you look right at the edge right there. Yeah. Oh. They're in there, they're like, they're like nestled in there, you know? Not quite sure what that's all about, but we'll get to the bottom of it. It's serious out here, man. Seems like some of these dragons have came out to start their morning routine. Yeah, you were right, Manny. Speaking of the iguana, 
One just popped up out of nowhere. Pretty nice one. Green like an avocado, Manny. Oh yeah. Tastes like one too. Oh. In the back. Oh wow. That's bright red, dude. Evolution, man. Breeding season is coming. The big boys are starting to come out. Orange ones, actually. Let's circle around and see if we can get it. Oh. Let's come back oh. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have no ammo. Oh. Alright, let's go uh, do that. Yeah. I can't. Sh I can't shoot right here like that. I gotta get lined up that way. Let's see where they go. They might go right up to this tree, dude. Wait, oh my God, look at that. Look. Whoa, that thing's oh big, God. dude. Oh my God. Let's just observe and see what they're doing. We got a rifle right here. With a pellet with his name on it. Let's just see. Oh, what... oh he's being alpha. What do you do? He scared he off the scared off, yeah. Knocked him right off the post, bro. Now he's looking at us. There's so much activity back here. That was close. We took it that one that was here and we gotta go back there, man. Right. They're living in this. It's like they're eating all these grapevines. That's what this is, right? Yeah, look at this one. They're just looking at us. Grapevines. Dude. You got one in this tree right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's out. We have to go next door and get him. But there was one that was climbing up here. But that was just insane, Manny. Had a, you know, we weren't ready to go up there and out of nowhere. Just came out, huh? Just a massive iguana just came out of nowhere, dude. Yeah, you're right. There he is. Dang, dude. Oh, there's another big one up there, Manny. Oh, okay. Let's tip right up. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Dang, Ross, you're doing numbers today. Crazy thing, guys, is the iguana is no longer alive. But look at its tail. It's like it has a mind of its own. Hey, everything. Okay. And then, um, that one's up. In the neighborhood, because we have a breeding season that's coming up, and these guys will definitely be pretty dominant out here. There it is, right there. Everything was okay, Manny. It was all fun and games, like, you know. We got him. And all of a sudden, dude. Recovery, man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but we're back here. We're gonna grab him real quick. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. We deal with dogs all the time. We work with them. It's okay, buddy. Oh, he wants. He's excited, huh? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I think he. I think he knows what we're up in here doing, Manny. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Come on, Come on, All right, he's good. He's good. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, he's gun shy. Silly guy. Where did he fall at, Manny? Inside here, right? Where? Right there. Where's he at, boy? <laughs> oh, I think he's excited for the iguana. Where's it at, boy? <laughs> All right, good boy. We got it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Whoa. All right, we got it. Silly doggo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Push him up. What are you Oh, shoot. There's a big one right there. Really? Nice. Another one. His buddy. Look, right where he's at. Look, look. Oh, you do have a buddy, huh? Let's see if we can get a double manic. You saw he's just hanging on by one claw? Yeah. It's so weird, huh? Buddy's back there. All right. Oh, his buddy was done. All right. Oh, shoot. All right, Manny. Dang. So I got two of them. I don't see, but they go in here too. and you're welcome to shoot them. If they go in this, yeah. If you see, I don't see now. Now you can see them. Yeah. I don't have any on the on the pad. Oh, there's two. You see one. I, mean, I see the one straight up ahead. Oh, there's two. The one on the like the bottom branch. All right, bet. Oh. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right and once again, his buddy is going to try to escape. Got it. Headshot. Oh, nice. Yep. Wow. Uh, that would be uh, mullet food right there. Crabs too. Other fish. Things are taking a liking. Where are you at? In the tree. Oh wow. Still trying to shake it off, man. Thank you. Thing's big. Look at his tail too, dude. Like the colors. Seriously. It's like lime green and then goes to like a white greenish right there. That's insane, dude. It's like he's got a tattoo or something, you know? He's like right. tied it up. Shoot, I need his tattoo plug number. A lot of people are asking too, like, what do we do after we remove the iguanas? Guys, <laughs> you've been hearing it on the news and seeing it all the time. These are literally the chicken of the trees. They're excellent table fare. If you don't believe me, ask some of your South American or Caribbean friends that have tried it before. And a lot of the people out here love to eat alligator meat. Essentially, this is like a tree gator. Same family as these alligators, they're both reptiles. The only difference is these guys eat vegetables and they live in trees. Alligators eat other animals and live in the swamps and people love that. Think about it for a second. It'll be the next biggest thing on the menus here in Florida.
he just came out and just to eat. In about five or ten minutes, he would be gone. We got him though. Uh, on the either on the floor he's going in that bush. There's no way he can go in here. <laughs> nice, Raj. Just a nice iguana right there, full tail, and the insane leopard patterns. Mm. It's massive. No need to overcomplicate things. I'm just here to put him in the bag. Seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, doce, trece, catorce. Okay. You count it when I count it, catorce? Yeah. For all those that don't speak uh, Spanish, Manny, what does that mean? Fourteen. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll say, I'll say one thing, slow start today. We came out here, we only saw a couple of them. Went to another job, came back, weather really heated up. And you could see from our haul today that it was very productive in about an hour and a half. 14 of them. Every job I go to, the bounty is different depending on what it is. I'm doing how many people are, are doing it and how easy it is for me to get these iguanas. So you guys see it right there, 14 iguanas in the bag. Oh man, we got some ice cold water in this cooler and some Powerade. Look at that yeah, right there. Look at them. Ice and stuff, you know? So, we're gonna bag these guys, send a couple pictures to the customer. And yeah, I think it's a good day out here in this neighborhood. 14 of them removed. Stay tuned, guys, because we come out here once a week to do our maintenance out here. And if you guys like this content, just hit the red subscribe button. Thank you, Manny. You guys give a shout out to Manny. Uh, you know, thanks, Manny, for coming out here filming this. Uh, it was a lot of fun. and. It was very effective. We talked to five new residents out here as well, too. Oh, that yeah. Before we couldn't get on their property, they were super happy for us to go in their backyard and remove some of those giants. So that being said, it's your friend Roger the Iguana Man. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace.